Hello and welcome to Cooking with Rose. Today we're going to make this quick and easy Philly cheesesteak. For your ingredients you will need bread, ribeye steak, thinly sliced. If you can't find it sliced, just buy a ribeye and while frozen just cut it in thin slices. You will also need portobello mushrooms, bell pepper, onion, provolone cheese, and Worcestershire sauce. Okay, so first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and start cutting our onions in strips. Now I went ahead and cut an onion in half and I cut the ends on each side and we're just going to cut it in thin strips like this. Next we're going to do our bell pepper. And I'm just going to get rid of all the seeds and the center stuff and do the same thing and cut it in small strips. Now I'm taking my portobello mushrooms. I have rinsed them off to get all the dirt off of them. And I'm just going to cut them in little slices like this. Now in a large pan you want to go ahead and drizzle some olive oil and put all our onions in here first and our bell peppers. Okay so now I'm going to go ahead and just mix it and cook it for about three minutes. After about three minutes you want to go ahead and add your mushrooms in there. And we're going to go ahead and mix this all together. You'll probably want to add a little bit more olive oil just to coat everything. Okay, so I'm going to add probably about one and a half tablespoons of butter just to give it a little bit of flavor. You also want to add a little bit of salt. And this is basically to your taste. And we're going to add a little bit of pepper, maybe about a teaspoon or again to your taste. Give this a mix and let it saute for about four minutes. I'm going to go ahead and put this on a plate just temporarily so we can cook our ribeye. adding some olive oil to my pan and next we will be adding the steak ribeye and if you notice how nicely thin it is it's great if you can find it at the store like this if not you just want to buy ribeye and again it's best to cut it when it's frozen because you can definitely cut it in small thin slices and I'd also like to apologize for the video. I'm kind of getting a hang of this camera, so my apologies in advance. As you can see, I am slightly browning my ribeye, and now I'm going to add some more shower sauce. I would say probably about one tablespoon. It really depends on how much ribeye you have in your pan, but this will definitely give it some taste. Okay, so now we're going to add some salt to your taste and we will also add some pepper and that's to your taste. I have added all of my veggies back in the pan and I have mixed it for about one minute and then you want to set it aside so that it doesn't burn. Now you want to take your bread and cut it in the center. Now we want to cut a piece of aluminum foil to put our sub in. And we're going to go ahead and add our meat and veggies to our sub. Next, we want to go ahead and add our provolone cheese, which comes in slices. And for this one, I'm going to cut it in two pieces and just set the cheese on top. My daughter doesn't like veggies, so I'm making this one without the veggies. And I am just wrapping it in aluminum foil. 
you want to set your oven to 375 degrees and cook it for about nine minutes or until your cheese melts and your bread is toasty. Add some mayonnaise and it's done. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thanks again.